Hey guys, this is Forte. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new uh, filter that I've been using in 2022. I've been back testing it for six months. That's why I haven't been releasing this video or like basically showing you guys a new filter because previously one of my most popular video of me showing you guys my high growth filter that I've been using since 2018 has been extremely profitable for three years and then suddenly this year it lost its color. Actually before this year, at the later half, not the later half, but the beginning of around November in 2021, till all the way now, March, that thing does not work. So I've already back tested this for half a month. So you guys have to keep in mind with the grain of salt that this filter has only six months of back testing. It's been extremely profitable for the past four months, right? But it's only has six months of back testing. So I'm releasing this, therefore I gotta put out a disclaimer before you guys watch this video. These videos are for educational purposes only, nothing in this video should be constructed as financial advice or recommendation to buy or sell stocks of any sort of security or investment. Consult with a professional finance advisor, financial advisor before making any financial decisions. Investing in general, in general and option trading especially is risky and has potential to be one of, for one to lose most of or all of their initial investments, right? So we're gonna get this disclaimer out of the way. Right now, I hope you guys can literally pause this video and then take the screenshots of uh, what's on the screen right now actually and uh let's uh let's see what do we got here okay i'm gonna move to move this to my main monitor so it's easier to see so it's bigger okay pause the video take a screenshot all you want i'm gonna break down uh number one what i'm gonna do is break down why i made these decisions and then number two i am going to show you guys what kind of stocks I've been trading by using this filter and how should I approach this and why is it I made these you know different suggestions to these energy stocks okay let's get started number one take your uh, notebook out right and then get your pen out now why do, you might be asking why for the why do we need a notebook number one it's uh, it's really important because if I'm explaining these filters to you like these selections I'm going to you better understand what they really mean so I want you guys to take notes on that right Let's start from the beginning. Number one, you go to finviz.com, right? Finviz.com. And then you go to click on screener and then click on all. You're gonna see a screen like this, right? I'm gonna, just in case I don't make a mistake. Okay, so number one, same thing as I uh, always, like by previous successions, a lot of the things are the same. Price above 20 moving average, 50 moving average, uh, 50 day moving average. And then price above the 200 day moving average, average the reason we do this is because we want to buy stocks on an uptrend. We don't want to buy stocks on the downtrend. I believe that stock goes up, it will continue to go up, right? I don't believe elsewise. That's how I trade the stock, how I trade stocks, right? I'm a trend writer. Next one, flow, uh, short flow over 5%. I want to see the other side of the people betting against this trade. This way, you know, I know it's not. There's less manipulation going on and, and so on. And we've eliminated 8,000 stocks to 205 already, right, by doing that. And next thing we want to do is I want to see chase stocks about 500k moving uh, moving average, right? And then for the IPO date, for my previous video, you guys knew you guys know that I used the IPO in the last three days because that's where high growth stocks makes the biggest explosive moves, right? If it's if they IPO in the last three days, that's three years. But uh, as of right now, we're gonna put any. Okay, I'm gonna explain the reason why because oh, I'll explain it right now because we're not trading IPO stocks, we're not trading high growth stocks. The reason due to that is because they are on the downtrend. They suck. They might even go on a downtrend for the rest of the year. Industrial only, uh, stocks only. That's all I want to trade. EPS growth for next year. These are the fundamentals. You don't have to put these, but if you want to, to make you feel a little better. Sales growth quarter over quarter over 20%. That's because th that's saying that every quarter they're making 20% more than the previous one. EPS growth, that's just earnings per share, you know, whatever. You don't need to do it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm it's, Fundamentals, I'm not really, you guys don't even have to do this. Sometimes I turn them off, right? It's just really on preference. I'm doing this because most of my viewers prefer a little bit of fundamental side on the stocks I'm trading. And the next one I'm going to do is beta over one. Beta over one is really simple. It just means anything less than one means the stock moves uh, slower or less volatile relative to the general market. In this case, we use SPY for uh, pretty much all of these, right? So over one, that's what I wanna see. I wanna see I wanna see some, you know, parabolic moves that might be happening. And then here's another thing, change from open. Let's do up. The reason you don't have to, you don't have to do any, we're already at 21 stocks here. The reason you wanna do up is because you can scan this every single night and not, not gap, sorry. You can, uh, you scan this every single night and you know that the change 
the stock went from you know red to green that's one thing that's really nice but i prefer you do two scans every night number one one with the up one with any or just do it with any and then now we're left with six stock, uh, 18 stocks right here click on charts candles and we get to see all the stocks that's been showing here potentially that is tradable as of right now as of friday's uh, march 5th this is a saturday actually the next coming week monday or tuesday i prefer everybody to take a couple days off because a lot of the oil names you can see is really extended i'm moving Taylor, by the way is a stock that all, that was on this and Taylor w wti i've been you know rei i've been tweeting this out all the time before they made these moves let's take a look at Taylor. okay now number one pause the video take a screenshot you know, get your notebook and pen out, write down what beta means, write down what short flow means, write down why you want to do change from open, why average volume over 500K. The reason why average volume is over 500K is because it's easier to liquidate my positions or even get in a position without much uh, slipper, uh, sl uh, slippage, right? I'm not going to show you guys some bullshit, like, you know, oh, buy this candle, like, you know, this is how you make a lot of money. No, this is for real, guys. There's going to be a lot of slippage in trading, so you better have enough you know, volume to take a trade or else it's just not worth it, you know? And uh, also, this trading style is really good for my uh, style, which is a short-term day trading or a short-term day trading to short-term swing tradings. Sometimes I hold a position for a little longer period, for up to even a month or so. But that's that really happens. And if you like this, go ahead and you know. By the way, if you guys like my uh, channel, please subscribe. We're almost at five thousand subscribers. We we hit two thousand, and after that, I really don't care anymore. But we're about to hit five. Let's break this five thousand resistance. Also, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash forte charts. We are getting really close to uh, twitter.com slash forte charts. We are really, really close to 900, 1,000 followers. Why not just follow me, guys, right? Give me a, support me a little bit. And uh, I tweet out these ideas all the time. You guys know that I don't make made videos all the time. And also keep in mind that this, uh, this, this, this filter has only been back tested for the, back tested for the last six months, right? Because the previous previous one doesn't work, I cannot just right after the previous filter fails to work. There's no way I just make a new filter and show you guys immediately. That's just that's just a YouTuber, right? That's just those fake YouTubers trying to milk money from YouTube, not actually teaching you guys or showing you guys how to actually make money. I cannot just boom boom get a filter, boom boom get another get another filter. I gotta test it out myself. See if I'm making money. If I don't, why the hell should I show it to people? And who knows how long these filters work, right? Stocks market, it works in a rotation kind of wise. So the previous one was for high growth, high rotation technology stocks or such. Right now we're getting into the, you can see a lot of oil names and a lot of oil names do not, you, you have to get rid of the IPO date. The reason due to that is because the, 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 the technicals kind of work a little bit differently. I'm going to show you guys one right now. Let's take a look at payload, which is the one that I have traded, like the most recent one, previous month. Not previous month, like previous week. I'm looking at gold right there. Uh, Taylor right here. Let's take a look at the technicals and why I say you want to get rid of IPOs. Number one, this stock has been existing since 1993. It's been existing well over 30 years. 29 years, almost 30 years, right? And now... Yeah, that's a problem with the regular growth stocks is that if you have something like this you kind of don't want to trade these kind of stock because it would fall so far from the high there is like so much you know supplies to the left and such but here's the thing here's the thing that people don't realize the stock has been failing and failing and failing over the course of many years and it has gone to as low as four dollars four fifty four thirty dollars right from like what 2000s you know or 60 whatever it is people that want to sell the stock already sold all the all the strong hands weak hands they're all shaken out the only people that that's still holding the stock is these those that are you know if they're not selling the stock at four dollars and 33 cents they're not going to sell the stock when it's at 18 dollars they're just not going to stock they're the perma holders for these uh stocks right so i've seen them as non-existence so, so in this case right if we i want to take this trade on Taylor. All the information I want to look at is this right here. That's the only technical I want to look at, right? And we can see that there are overhead supply here, which we kind of got rid of right here. And now we have more overhead supply here, which we're getting we're getting close there. That's why I sold all my positions because we might be a little bit extended, right? So that's the only overhead supply we need to take uh, care of. And if we look at it on the daily chart, do not trade the stocks. I'm already out. I sold all my positions around here already. And I got in. I did not get in right there. I, I kind of missed it. 
I got in a little bit above the uh, above this consolidation right here. It was not chasing. It was good consolidation, and uh, I got in right there. Made about how many percent is this? Made about twenty six percent in two days in this one trade. So that's like one example. Another one that we WTI. We can take a look at it. Got in this trade. You know, it's a gap up. I didn't chase. Came down retest. Boom! I got in. Shoot up, and then here we are. And what are some other trades I've taken? Uh, uh, let's see. I've taken, uh, let's see, we got AR. We also got AR in our hand. AR really, this one is pretty, I have to, I had to trade it twice. First trade was right here. I got triggered in, got kicked out the second day because I raised my stop too, too hard. But we bounced, so I got in the position again and boom, boom, we start shooting up. And it's getting a little bit extended. I've checked, so most of my positions are on here. And that's basically the result of this filter. I think it's really good, but it doesn't matter how good the filter is. You shouldn't be buying them blindly. Look at the stocks, look at the fundamentals, look at the short flow, look at the charts. And then if they're extended, you wait and then put them on the list. And yeah, there you go. And that's the uh, that's the new filter in 2022 that I've been using. And we'll be there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different uh, filters right there. The thumbnails might be a little wrong, but that's beside this case. Thank you guys for watching my video and uh, you know if the video doesn't if the filter doesn't work again which is going to happen 100% who knows how long but take care of me as as you can please and uh, yeah be professional this is not a game right see you guys next time thank you guys for watching subscribe like and comment ask me questions see you guys next time peace